I'm Ozzy Griffin, and this is a response to Vomit Coyote's uh, video, Is There a Religion? i got to tell you, man, this is a great question, and you've picked the perfect person to let respond. I was brought up as a Catholic. I went to a Catholic secondary school. I did religion and society as a subject, and it's a voluntary one, and it's not an easy one either. You're about to experience the full absolutely harsh weight of my ex of me talking about a subject I studied to death and enjoyed. Oh yeah, this is going to take a while. And you might want to look at something else because this refocusing crap with my camera, I don't know how to stop it. So, what is a religion? In the Second Vatican Council, back in the 1960s, the Catholic Church had a massive debate on what the word church meant. When I hear people say, when I hear people say, uh, I'm a part of a Christian church, or THE Christian church, I want to slap them in the face. Not because I'm an atheist, I'm not. And not because I'm no longer much of a Catholic. It's because that's an ignorant view. Congratulations, you're about to get a lesson in religion. So, the Catholic Church, where I am, is the Australian tradition of, and their, and their cosmetic interpretations of a series of passed down intergenerational beliefs regarding a bunch of scriptures supposedly divinely inspired and transcribed by certain individuals held in very high regard within that organization. The church, there was a debate whether the church meant the physical building or the people therein. Realizing that the churches all, all have to be demolished anyway and that the peop, there's always more people, the Catholic Church decided to uh, say that it was the people, the congregations, that mattered. Maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing, maybe unimportant. I'll let you decide. Now, as far as the... as, however, as far as other countries go and other places, the traditions and the way people present themselves when they go to religious ceremonies or the way they're taught about things will change. And there's a lot of people who would say that that invalidates things. Well, the Catholic Church has had... Well, it's, it's the original... It was the first form of Christianity. It was the old school stuff. Uh, and everything else has split off from that. There was the split between the Eastern Rite and the Western Rite. And the Western Rite is the modern Catholic Church. Uh, and everything after that was originally a heresy. Isn't that a cheery word? Uh, though, subsequently you get different denominations. Like, I was at a party, and a guy said, Oh, I'm a member of the Christian Church, and I said, Which denomination? He said, You're a Catholic, aren't you? And I said, Anyway. The important thing is... Uh, yeah, I was about to slap him, seriously. Because I hate seeing Christians say, Well, I'm just a Christian. Well, which denomination? Are you a snake handler? Are you a Jehovah's Witness? Are you a uh, member of this community or that? And the truth is that a religion, as defined by the Catholic Church, is a congregation. And the other definition, or the other word to describe a thing in the likeness of a, of a man or woman that is made up of multiple people is a person that is taken out of law. In And law, believe it or not, is based on the first five books of the Bible. For legal theory, you could actually do a lot worse. I'm not saying I agree with their definitions of what is right and wrong. However, I certainly don't. However, I like wearing polyester blends. Anyway, however, the truth is that the congregations make up the organization. And each place interprets it differently. So, as far as things on paper go, religion 
does exist on paper. However, as far as as far as the people and their practices and their agreement of the belief goes, it does not. If you take three, there's an old joke, if you take three people and ask their opinions on something, you'll get four opinions between three people. And it's true. It's been true for thousands of years and it ain't stopping now. The atheist community, as you were saying, has hit a bit of a wall. You take three or four atheists and take their views on atheism and stack them up against one another. And guess what? They're not going to stack up because people have different takes on what you shouldn't believe in and what's okay to speculate on and what's uh, you know that. what's okay to believe in, speculate on, wonder about, debate on. It's all going to vary from individual to individual. You got to ask yourself: Is there an ath is there atheism, or are there just varying diff uh, degrees of belief? So, is there a religion on paper? Certainly. Is there a state? Is there a state of Victoria where I live here in Australia? On paper, yes. Some people would argue that it's only a corporation because uh, it's spelt in all capital letters when you look it up in Dun and Bradstreet. Possibly. Is there religion? On paper, certainly. However, none of us live on paper. Um, unless you're some kind of super intelligent being that eats that to survive, in which case, good for you. No, ladies and gentlemen, when you've got to, when the chips are down, you've got to ask yourself, is it more about what's written down or what people do? Because if you say what people do, and I suspect a lot of you have, then you've got to say what is written down is not as important as what's going on up here. I'm Lossie Griffin, and it's good to finally get this thing done in a way that's coherent and logical. Have a good one.